so we're gonna draw an open box today. So you're gonna start out the same way that you draw a cube. So it's dot dot. Find your middle. Draw a dot above and a draw draw a dot below. After that, you're gonna connect the dots it's again, just like you're making a cube. The lines don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna draw your sides coming down. Just make it a little bit bigger. Making sure they're parallel with the sides of the paper so the box doesn't look crooked. You're gonna draw your middle line coming down, make it a little bit longer. Connect these lines, making sure these two sides are running together. Alright, so there's your cube. Now you're gonna draw the flaps of the box. So up here on top, you're gonna draw a flap open by drawing two parallel lines running at a diagonal away from your box. And you're gonna draw your other side doing the same thing, just going the other way. Making sure the, the lines are equal. Now, just draw the top of the box. You want to make sure these lines are the same as this side right here. And same over here. Alright, there's the two flaps. Now you're going to draw the bottom two flaps. These are opening downwards. So you're going to do the same thing except the opposite way. So you draw two flaps. Now draw two lines, same thing, making sure they're parallel with each other, running down at an angle. Keeping these two the same. Same thing right here. Alright, so there's your, your box. Now we're going to really make it come out. You erase, you erase the lines in there that you shouldn't be able to see on the back side of the flat. Now, you're going to draw a line on the inside, the inside corner of the box. It really makes it 3D right there. So, once again, you can draw your shadow, lights coming down this way. Keep these lines the same. Shade this side of the box. Now you want to make the, the shadow under these flaps darker. So it's really gonna it's really gonna make it stand out. Now, maybe you want to put a few little toys in here, make it look like the box is full. Just putting some little triangles and squares and circles for now. Looks like there's something in the box, makes it more 3D. Now, you know, once again, you want to shade this back side in too as well. Alright, so now you're going to go, go back with a blending tool or your finger. Blend it in real good. Alright, now go back and touch up your lines.
Uh, erase any little mistakes you have. And there's your open box. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.